guys, EBP Man here, and today we're going to take a look at the Dex Station, uh, and which is a desktop experience dock with the Note 8. Let's go ahead and check it out. So the uh, Dex Station was released with the Samsung Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus. And what it does is by simply docking your phone into the station, it gives you a desktop-like experience. Now, let's face it, the processing capacity, the speed that you have on your Note 8, uh, sometimes could be greater than laptops that you have in your home. So you do have, in that small compact form factor, a processing beast. So what we're going to do is look at the desktop solution, see how it works, and how it reacts to the Note 8. Now inside the box you're going to find your uh, deck station with an additional power cord as well as micro USB charging cable. Now the way uh, the deck station works uh, is you'll push it open just like you saw right there and you'll dock your S8 or in this case the Note 8 into uh, this position and put it to charge. Now in my experience having a case on your Note 8 doesn't really work well so you're gonna have to install it uh, naked now you'll notice that you have this venting system right here so it's going to keep your phone cool because there is a, a fan mechanism very similar to the uh, wireless charging solution that we saw now as we close this up you'll notice that you have some expandable ports here you have two USB you have Ethernet uh, gigabit connection here you have HDMI out and you have your USB-C uh, charging port now let's go ahead and connect this to a television or in my case a monitor to see how it works so this is what your setup would look like once you plug in your DeX um, and your Note 8 together now remember the Note 8 does have 6 gig of RAM has a great processor and my experience in using it for the last couple of days in the desktop mode has been really positive Previous to that, I used to use my S8 uh, when I would go out on vacation. I used to carry a laptop with me. I used to carry multiple devices. And what I found is just carrying that little puck uh, made a lot of sense. And in many of the hotels that you stay, you uh, typically have a monitor or some type of um, HDMI type connection that I can connect to. So I just take a mouse keyboard combination, a foldable one, and I would set up and here I have a full desktop. And as you can see, very much looking like Windows. So you have some icons here for um, several of the applications that by default show up on the side. On the very bottom here you have shortcuts for applications as well. Uh, on this side you have the home button, you have a uh, Google Play services access, you can look at your Bluetooth connections, your NFC connections, Wi-Fi, uh, all these things and you notice that it is charging at the same time and it's giving you again that experience that is very similar to using uh, a Windows desktop or you know, even a Mac for that matter. As we uh, click in this area right here, you're going to see these are all the applications uh, that are installed, so you have access to those applications. You can use, um, since the camera is accessible, you could use uh, this as a uh, teleconferencing device, so running WebEx and then being in a WebEx session. Um, I've done that quite often, and it does give you, again, that desktop experience. Let's see what happens when we start launching some applications. All right, so I've opened up the Chrome browser, and I'm going to go ahead and go to my YouTube channel. And this is going through Wi-Fi. This is not going through uh, the Ethernet connection. Uh, and what you're seeing is that the display here is still very much the mobile display. Uh, you can go here and then just say Request Desktop Site. And when you request the desktop site, the page will be refreshed to look like uh, what you would see in normal uh, YouTube uh, type setup uh, through the browser. Very, you know, very responsive. Uh, if I want to play one of the videos, let's go ahead and play one of the ones that we just set up. I did a video just a few minutes ago on top 10 things that you should do for your uh, Note 8 as soon as you receive it. So let's go ahead and choose that one. And we'll see what the playback looks like. So you can see pretty responsive. Uh, let's go ahead and hit play. So here you have the trailer going. It's not stuttering in any way. Uh, the screen of the phone is completely black, so you don't really see anything going on there either. And what you see now is the end of the trailer and the video started playing, and the quality is really good. So let's go ahead and make this larger so you can see what it looks like. And you saw again the type of response that you're getting and the, and the quality uh, as well. Now Samsung has... Um, worked with several partners to optimize some of the apps so that they uh, look more and function more like a desktop app. So I'll go here and you'll notice these are all the apps that are part of my phone. 
But if I go here, I can look at which ones have already been optimized and I can install them if I haven't already. You notice that Word is an option here, PowerPoint, a lot of business apps. And this is uh, what I primarily use. Now, you could stream YouTube, as you can see, I'm doing that uh, here. I'll hit play again while I'm doing other things. And the performance, especially since you have that 6 gig of RAM, is uh, doing really well. So now while this video is playing, I'm going to go ahead and open up Word. And remember, I have Office 360, so it's going to uh, recognize some of the in my credentials. And all my apps that are on my normal desktop are going to be here as well. I'm going to open up a document that I, uh, I've been working on. And you'll notice that the document is here as this other one is functional. Now, I could go in and look for another app that I wanted to open. Let's say, for example, uh, PowerPoint. Open up PowerPoint. There's PowerPoint is launching. And you notice really decent speed. It's going and it's fetching what I already have because of uh, how I have um, the Office 360 solution. And it's going to give me access to that uh, specific uh, PowerPoint. Or what I can do is I can start creating a brand new PowerPoint. Now, the other thing that comes to mind when using DAX is um, video playback as well as games. I'm not a really big game player on my phone, but you can have a Bluetooth remote control similar to an Xbox controller or a PlayStation and use it. You could also run your Netflix. And just wanted to show you, uh, you know, this trailer and the quality that you're getting uh, coming from the DeX system. It, it's pretty awesome. Now, this is a high-end monitor, but again, this is just an HDMI connection. Everything looks really nice and smooth and clear. And it's, again, something that's very enjoyable to watch. Now, many of the features that you have on your phone are still still very much present. So you can take phone calls, and it'll be like taking phone calls off of a speakerphone. You could still do the multitasking and find you know go back to an application that you were running on. Uh, you'll be able to use a front-facing camera, not the back. The experience again is a really good experience. So just wanted to give you a taste of what the DEX system look like. Uh, it's something that you may want to consider. I have been using this and I've been using it um, in some cases as an, ex as an exclusive solution so not carrying a laptop but just using my phone and then using the DEX station as uh, the extendable solution that turns it into this desktop uh, type product. So if you have any comments or questions about uh, the DEX and the Note 8 uh, leave it in the comment area below. If you like the video give it a thumbs up and as always don't forget to share and subscribe. Thanks for watching guys.